So last time uh, I posted a video, I talked about what I called a neutral stance. If you haven't seen that video, please go back and uh, look it over. This is a bunch of talking. Sorry about it. It's just theory. To just briefly uh, go back and talk about it though, neutral stance is your knees over your feet, your hips slightly tucked, not all the way and not all the way back. So slightly tucked, you want a sort of neutral spine. And your shoulders over your knees, but not because you're bending over. So you want your nose, not your nose, your shoulders, your knees, and your toes in basically the same plane. Okay? And uh, you want to make sure that you're engaging this part of your core. Uh, the box, which is what we're going to talk about today, is a way of sort of conceptualizing your motion. And I usually think about it as a plane of sort of flexible but springy, strong, like plastic or, you know, not fiberglass, just a pane that goes between my knees and my shoulders. But it's something that can be bent and flexed, right? So if I bend like this, it bends with me and it sort of springs back. Because when you do bend, you're gathering power to be able to go as long as you don't overbend. That bending concept <coughs> is actually really important to understand because the thing about the box is that it doesn't remain rigid. When you move your right foot, your right shoulder does not come with it. Because when you walk normally, nobody walks like this purposely. It is unnatural and it does not counter the forces, which is, if you ever tried to walk on camera, it's actually sort of hard. Uh, your opposing shoulder and knee move on purpose. It counters the forces in your body and helps you remain stable. So we're taking that concept and we are turning that into a derby thing. So <clears throat> when um, I move my right foot, my left shoulder, not my necessarily my elbow, my right shoulder goes with it. This doesn't mean that my left shoulder goes back because remember, I want to keep things in alignment. So the right shoulder, uh, the right foot goes with the left shoulder. And even if you're sinking back, you still want that shoulder a little bit ahead. The thing that this gives you is that it sets you up so that you can now torque if you need to. Remember that flex? I'm unbending and I'm using that flex, that power that I gathered, to push out. I can push out low as well. Here. Okay? Um, this works both in a single foot plow situation, also in terms of hitting, where you want to snap through. So you gather that power here and bring your, yourself through. Um, <coughs> it also works in terms of a more static situation where, for example, you're, uh, you are um, being braced and you've got a bracing partner to your side and a brace ahead of you. If this foot is up, if you keep this shoulder with the knee, you are actually also keeping your hips a little bit flatter and it helps you keep your hips a little bit flatter so that you are taking up more space. It also can easily turn into like a side catch or a pocket <coughs> and it helps you use your shoulder as an active member of that uh, as a last resort catch. So if they escape you here, you can drop your shoulder more easily, whereas if you're further back, you cannot. So true of you. <coughs> the box is just a general way of thinking about your alignment, that your shoulders probably are going to be over your knees, which are going to be over your toes. So it's the nose, knees, toes thing from the uh, stride, where you keep your nose centered over the striding foot and the striding knee. Um, but it's set up with your shoulders here uh, in this alignment, right? And your nose is in the same plane, but it's definitely not over a foot for, for the neutral version of this stance. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I would like to suggest that you check out some of my uh, skating tutorials as well. These are usually drills aimed at improving your foot coordination so that you can move from motion to motion well. Um, and also that you click subscribe. I don't make any money off of this, but I do appreciate your comments. If you have any thoughts, any feedback, please let me know below. If you disagree with me, please tell me. I would love to hear your opinions.